Welcome back to Termination Takedown and our ongoing coverage of the fiber optic termination field trials. I'm Landscape and with me is the professor, Noel Epoxy. We're glad you're joining us. What a competition we've got here today. In the field termination trials, teams will vie to complete multiple fiber optic terminations in different locations. At Lance, I've got to tell you, many of those locations are unpleasant. And you'd know about unpleasant locations, Noel. <laughs> yeah, what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> the big story in this year's field trials, the one everybody's talking about, is the Corning Cable Systems Unicam Connectors Team. That's right, Noel. The Unicam Connectors Team is rumored to have the fastest field termination time out there. But sweet mother of Bixie, Noel, can this be right? The team voluntarily bypassed their 20-hour practice period? It's unbelievable, but it's true. Unlike the other teams, the Unicam Connectors team chose a single one-hour training session with their local Corning Cable Systems sales engineer. They say that's all they need to beat the other teams and finish this termination obstacle course first and best. Wow, I don't know if that's crazy or brilliant, especially on a course like this. First up is a team regular viewers of the termination games will recognize, the Fusion Splicing Team. Fusion Splicing Team, senior technician, 40 years combined experience. These guys are the real technophiles of the sport. And much like the Yankees approach to baseball, they are willing to make huge investments to win here. And when I say huge, I mean it. To tackle the obstacles in this field trial, they blinged out a three-man team armed with 15 pounds of fusion splicer and consumables. I guess we'll see if that strategy pays off for him, Lance. Next up is a real fan favorite in field termination, the Epoxy and Polish Connector Team. Epoxy and Polish Team, we've got the steadiest hands in the business. And they'll need them. Hand polishing connectors is difficult and causes questionable end face results on the connector. And that's going to have a direct impact on the quality of those terminations. This old school team has been a fan favorite in the termination world since George Clinton put out Atomic Dog. But Lance, I don't think time is on their side in this event. Even in the sprints, they're clocking five long minutes per connector. That's why they've chosen to load up such a large team for this event. In fact, they're also going to need a lot of space to manage all of those consumables. Not to mention, keep them under control in order to secure a win here today. Wow, that could be a risky strategy in an event where efficiency is the key. And last up, as we mentioned earlier, is the Unicam Connectors team. And Noel, am I seeing this right? Is this team really only one person? That's right, Lance. One guy, one kit, all the obstacles. Unicam team. One installer, quality install, no time flat. Now that's what I'm talking about. I gotta tell you, Lance, I really like the look of this team. Fast, efficient, streamlined. If he can pull it off, this is going to be the team to watch. And with that, let the games begin. Let's take a look at the Fusion Splicing team. They seem to be having a lot of trouble deciding where their splicer will go for this first obstacle. It's a challenging one. Teams need a ladder to reach the patch panel location here. It really does need a hard, flat surface to run properly, and the ladder just isn't providing it. And now two team members are on their cell phones. Lola, what's going on here? Lance, Noel, the team's coaches are telling me they aren't getting the splice results they've expected. They've tried cleaning the electrodes, but it isn't helping. They're on the phone now with manufacturer's tech support, and you are not going to believe this, but it looks like they may have to take the lens out to clean it next. Wow, that's definitely going to cost them here. Let's hope the epoxy and polish team is having better luck. They've made their way under a desk to finish a fiber to the desk setup. And help, help me, Rhonda, Noel, look at that mess. What is going on here? I would have expected this team to be well through this obstacle by now. What's slowing them down? It looks like he's having a heck of a time getting a good polish on this connector, Noel. He's checked it in the scope four or five times now. He's clearly not happy with it. He just can't seem to produce an acceptable end face with hand polishing. I'm not even sure he's using the right polishing paper. He's got stuff everywhere. Look at that. They're using an anaerobic epoxy, so they've eliminated the need for an oven or power supply. That's smart. But what's going on now? They've got a new man polishing, but he seems to be having the same trouble as his injured team member. You know what, Lance? Those earlier issues may not have been an end face issue. I mean, if the technician didn't describe it correctly, he could have shattered the fiber inside the ferrule. Making all the polishing in the world useless. Mm -hmm. That's gotta hurt. While they sort out that mess, if they can, let's check in on the Unicam connector team. Here he is at the above ceiling installation. 
This toolkit is hanging up, something we haven't seen here today. That's really paying off here. All the tools appear easily handheld and wow, look at that. The whole connection in under a minute. That's a third of the time we've been seeing in other installs today. Let's get an instant replay of that. You can see that with his Unicam toolkit, he doesn't need any epoxies and the fibers are factory polished. So he doesn't waste any time or materials polishing it in the field. He just cleaves the prep fiber, cams the connector, and bam, crimps it into place. Incredible. And while he makes his way to the next installation, let's talk more about that green light we saw on the connector tool. Lola? Lance, the tool comes equipped with a continuity test set, which is a light indicator that glows green if the connection was successful and red if it's not. Lola, it appears that the one he's doing right now is red. Does he need to scrap this connector? Not at all, Noel. He just needs to readjust the fiber inside or simply recleave it if he thinks that's the issue. No need to start all over. What a time saver he has there. And with that, it looks like the Unicam connector team has finished the course first. And we're hearing from officials on the field, all of his connections meet or exceed industry standards, earning him the gold medal. And by the problems the other two teams are having, cleaning up and setting up again at their second locations, it doesn't look like they'll even come close to his time. What a Cinderella story we've got here. Let's go to Lola and talk with our winner. That was outstanding, congratulations. Now there was a lot of trash talk from your competitors that a no epoxy, no polish connector like the Unicam connector is more expensive than epoxy and polish connectors or fusion splicing. What would you like to say to your detractors? Thanks Lola. Individual components like epoxy and polish connectors and pigtails seem cheaper at first but once you factor in the additional cost of consumables, scrap rate, and the additional installation time, the math really points you to the Unicam connector. I don't have to worry about extra cost down the road. The super quick installation time gives me the ability to do more in a day, which earns more money for my company and me. What do you think helped you the most out there? Well, everything in my toolkit is handheld and has a secure molded spot in the kit making it that much easier to do my thing and move on to the next location. I don't even need a work surface to get the job done. So even in the tough obstacles, I didn't lose any time setting up. The Corning team made me feel really great about using it. They actually came out to my job site and trained the entire crew. I was also confident in the technology. Corning invented the no epoxy, no polish connector and millions of Unicams have been sold more than any other type of no epoxy, no polish connector. So it's a proven technology. You've got to feel good about that. Lance, Noel, back to you. Well, that's all the time we have today here at the Termination Takedown. On behalf of Noel Epoxy, Lowell Attenuation, and myself, Landscape, thank you for joining us. If you need a quick way to terminate fibers, visit offers.corning.com slash one-termination-takedown to schedule an on-site demonstration.